Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We have a very special friend of the family guest today with us on ATP Report. But before I bring him on, I want to remind you out in ATP land, your job, if you haven't done it already, is to take out your cell phone and text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and address it to the number 88202. When you push send, you'll be automatically subscribed to our text message alert system. It's free. You'll get me and all of our very special guests twice a week on your cell phone. It's absolutely for free and will take you about four seconds. Hopefully, you've already done it. Let me bring on Will Johnson. Will is a friend of the ATP family. He appears here regularly, both his radio and television stuff. He is a profoundly connected guy on the ground everywhere there's an issue in American politics. He's the founder of Unite America First. I urge you all to follow him on his various platforms, which he'll tell us about. Welcome, Will. Hey, Barry, nice seeing you again. It's always a pleasure. Let's start off with um, my favorite politician. I'm not going to give the name yet. Um, I'll just give some hints. You'll figure it out within a minute or two. Americans uh, who went to college now own an astounding $1.73 trillion in unpaid student loans. It's a massive amount of money. But then again, you know, being an art history major or a middle age literature major, those degrees are expensive. So how in the world did it happen to get on the radar of the numerous progressive socialist communists in the Congress who seem to think borrowing money and not paying it back is some sort of constitutional right or God-given right? Um, AOC has come out with a new one. I got to read you the quote. You're going to love it. And then I want your commentary. This is from AOC. Quote, I'm 32 years old now. I have over $17,000 in student loan debt. And I didn't go to graduate school because I knew if I got another degree, it would drown me in debt and I'd never be able to pay it off. This is un unacceptable, unquote. So instead, she became a minimum wage bartender and party girl slash congresswoman. So Will, why pay off their student loans? Why don't we pay off all their loans, their car loans, their house loans, their credit card debt? Pay for their plastic surgery. Where would it stop? Or is this all kind of crazy? It is all kind of crazy. And we all know what it is, Barry. It's about them trying to push communism, socialism. You said it already. Once they pay for everything, they owe us. They own us. They don't owe us. They own us at that point. And I think that's the main, that's the main objective is, right? The main objective here is to get the government to own all of us, not just in America, but the entire world. Because what they're pushing here, they try to push it into other countries and look how those countries end up. I mean, just completely collapse. And I think their main goal, Barry, is to use this to try to tear down our economic system for the whole build back broke policy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all right. I'm stealing your line. Build back broke is way more literally uh, predictive than build back better because we're going to be broke if we spend that kind of money. I'll just Oh, absolutely. You. Absolutely. And it's not mine to steal, so you can steal it all you need. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, Will, you've been to the border more than anybody I know. I mean, physically there with your camera and uh, interviewing everybody, you seem to have uh, no shyness about walking up and sticking a microphone under uh, the border police uh, patrolmen, the, the people coming across illegally, other members of the press. What's the latest? I mean, D.C. is saying the borders are closed. They say that the remain in Mexico policy that Trump invented is back in business and we're background checking everybody. That's what Washington is saying. You're there. What's the truth, Will? You know, the truth is, Barry, that they actually did put it back into place. But they created a loophole. And the loophole is they're, they're getting the memo out to everyone that's trying to cross the border what that loophole is. And all they have to say is once you get to the border patrol, tell them that you fear for your life returning back to Mexico or wherever it is that you came from. Just tell them that you fear for your life and they'll let you in. That's it. So, I mean, at that point, and you know that's going to spread like wildfire. I mean, that's exactly what these communist, socialist, leftist, democrats want to do. They want to invade, have our country invaded, and they want to destroy our nation, and they're creating loopholes. So 
they put the policy back into place just to say, hey, look, we did it. Shut up, conservatives. Shut up, Republicans. We gave you what you want, so be quiet. In the meantime, they created the loophole. So is it not true that I, I find it to be completely unbelievable, but I want to hear it out of your mouth since you've been there. We aren't checking for vaccine status or active COVID cases at the border? I have not seen them check a single person every single time that I've been on the border. And I've been on the border multiple times since the pandemic started, even before the pandemic started. And not a single time have I ever witnessed them check the status. I will say this that they when they when they find out or even before they even find out they take people where they suspect that may have the covid and they'll put them in these hotels they'll empty the hotels out and they'll put them in there but mind you the doors are open no one is preventing them from going anywhere they can walk down the street i mean it's just it's it's really horrible actually and what was really awesome is that we had some border patrol agents tip us off where this was happening because they're tired of it. Yeah, you, you've, you've talked about that before, and I find that just disgusting. I mean, you can't go to a restaurant, a gym, or anything in California anymore without proof of a vaccination and a mask. But if you pour across the border illegally, creating a felony situation for yourself, you get whatever you want, and there are no restrictions. I find the um, lack of enforcement of the rules for everybody disgusting and totally hypocritical. So speaking of California, they're going crazy again with vaccine and mask mandates. You now need to prove you got the jab to enter restaurants, hair salons, barbershops, nail salons, gyms, movie theaters, shopping malls, etc. Here's the question. The infection rate in my California state for COVID is through the roof and California has the strictest regulations in the country on both vaccinations and masking. And yet Florida has zero mandates, has the lowest infection rate per capita in the country. You can go anywhere, shop anywhere, associate anywhere, and there's virtually no COVID. Will, that doesn't make any sense, does no, it? No, what I, the way I see it, one is allowing your immune system that God gave us to build your immune system. The other is wanting to break it down. So when you do get sick, that you won't be able to fight it as, a, you know, as effectively as most others. And also for not being able to go into a restaurant, the movie theater, hold a job, you know, just public venues because you don't have proof of papers. It really reminds me of something in history, right? And I think you know exactly what that is. And on top of that, I said that this was going to happen about nine months ago on my YouTube channel. I said this was going to happen. I said they're going to force us, and I call it the Kool-Aid, right? I said they're going to force us to drink the Kool-Aid, little Jim Jones there. And I said this about nine months ago, and they took my YouTube channel down, saying that I was putting out misleading medical advice, Barry. Misleading medical advice. Something what I said they're going to do in the future has nothing to do about telling people to get something or not to get something. I said what they're going to do in the future by forcing us. And of course, YouTube decided to take that video down and my channel down. And now today, as of today, New York, California, they're actually forcing people to drink this Kool-Aid or you lose your job or you can't go to a restaurant. And now they're even pushing it on kids, Barry. Kids. I mean, this is horrible. It's 100% evil, what we're seeing here. And I think it's a precursor to a lot more crazy stuff that's coming. Boy, you look at you look down under at what the heck they're doing in Australia oh, with, yes. with camps. They are literally putting people in camps who don't want to be vaccinated. It's terrifying. God help us if it gets here. How, 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 Barry, how is this no different than what they were doing in the 1930s in Nazi Germany? What, I well, mean, it's just a different era, different time, of course. We have different technology, but it's a, still the same concept. Well, we'll see what the next step is, because if you're right, we're in deep, deep trouble as a nation.
Yeah. So speaking about what's going on in our country, crime is surging in every single big city. If you notice, the defund the police movement has largely disappeared. Why? Because crime is going insane. And these cities that six months ago, and you and I were talking about this all the time, the cities that were pushing for defund the police are refunding the police in many cases. But there's one favorite mayor of mine who seems to have moved to the twilight zone. Beetlejuice. Uh, it's the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot. And she is proudly the mayor of the murder, murder capital of America. Smash and grabs are now going on in daylight where gangs pull up, put on masks, go in there and just empty the stores. I mean, empty them in broad daylight. This week, Mayor Lori Lightfoot suggested that retail stores are to blame for these crimes and saying she's, quote, disappointed that the stores are not doing more to make safety a priority. So get this. Blame the victim, Will Johnson. What would you tell that mayor if you could? Resign immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, that, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the nicest thing I could say to it. I mean, all this crime could have been avoided, but they, you know what, Barry, personally, I think they want this crime. And I think they want the crime, especially when it comes to gun violence, because they want to remove the Second Amendment so they can implement what I mentioned a minute ago, like the 1930s. But the crime for all of these cities, because they defunded the police officers, is happening because of their policies. And the main reason why a lot of these cities and states right now are talking about redefunding the police department is because we're coming into the midterm election. They want to do, they want to bring down the crime so that they can say that they look that we did this to bring down the crime and not taking responsibility themselves for creating it in the first place. Now they want to look like the heroes come the midterm election. So people will be fooled again and voting them in. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't care what political party you're affiliated with. If you're creating a crisis and then you try to come along with be the superhero and got the solution to fix the crisis, you should be removed for creating it in the first place. I mean, it's really that simple. Well said. Well, where can people find out about what you're doing and follow you? If you go to UnitesAmericaFirst.com, just click on the tab that says connect with Will everywhere. Perfect. And I advise all of our listeners uh, in America and around the world, subscribe and follow Will Johnson. He has insights you're not going to find anywhere else. And he is the man on the ground. Listen to Will. You're going to be more educated. Thanks for coming on with us today. Special thanks to Will Johnson, of course, and all of you who subscribed, as I asked you to do in the beginning, by simply sending the message truth in the message box and addressing it to the number 88202 and push send. We'll have you all signed up. You'll get all of Will and me absolutely for free. For ATP Report, thanks again. I'm Barry Newsbaum.